Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In today's session, we will see the whole concept of implementation user. So this is our today's agenda. We'll cover how to create implementation user and how to assign role to this implementation user and how to reset the password of this implementation user. So the implementation user perform all the implementation related tasks in our application. For example, we can create the enterprise structure. So under this enterprise structure, we create the legal entity, business unit, primary ledger, and we configure the financial related tasks like accounting calendar, create the charts of account, and we create the roles and configure the supply chain management related tasks. So as per the offerings we have provided, we can perform and accomplish all the implementation related tasks. Now we have some roles. So after creating the implementation user in order to achieve all the implementation tasks, we have to assign job roles to this implementation user. So we have to initially we have two types of roles. First one is application implementation consultant and the next one is IT security manager. So application implementation consultant allow user to do the application related setups and you can implement any application like inventory, procurement, order management, AP, AR, cash management, fixed assets and the IT security manager allows implementation to user to create new user and manage job roles and also create the new roles as per the requirement. So if we have these two type of roles, then we have full control of application. So implementation consented roles provide access to FSM page, functional setup ma manager page and the IT security provides to access to access security console we can find in the uh, tools security console so we can create the new user and assign the roles to this user so let's move to the application and let's create new implementation user so this is the home page of the application and this is a initial user provided by the oracle and uh, i am already logged into the initial user and uh, Let's create the new user. Click on this navigator and scroll down. Click on this tools and click on this security console. So in the left side of, left side of this page, you can see so many tabs. So click on this users and we have an option of add user account and compare user so we are going to create new account so we have to click on this add user account so when we click on that it populates to the new window let's click on that and this is the page over here we we are we we are we enter some information related to implementation user so first one is associated person type so we have a none and workers so under this we have to associate one worker name to this implementation user but right now we are going to create new one new implementation user so we are going to none option and this is the account information where we where we can active and deactive this account and we can also lock this account now this is the user information so we will go with the only mandatory fields so this is the last name and the user name is automatically populate with the first name and the last name and this is the password and confirm password and this is the policy password policy at least eight character and one number so i'm going to enter this is admin at the rate one two three and admin at the rate one two three see let's click on seven close let's check the 
user by username you can see the user gets created and let's log login with the implementation user first we sign out this initial user and let's sign in with this implementation user and uh, this is the username and uh, let's sign in click on that so this is the implementation user and uh, let's see this is the setting in action so there is no any option related to uh, setup and maintenance likewise in the navigator there is no any option related to security console in the tools so let's give some roles to this implementation user right now we are not able to create new user and we cannot assign any role to this user because we don't have any access to security console we don't have any access to the the setup and maintenance so let's assign roles to this implementation user so again sign out and login with the initial user because of that we don't have the security console option in the implementation user so let's sign in click on this navigator scroll down click on tools click on this security console click on users let's find out the user by the username you can also find out the user by their email last name first name click on this display name and click on this added button so we have option of add roles auto add add auto provision role and remove all roles so first we see the add roles let's enter the job roles which is application implementation consultant so it display four options first is start with the ORA and second one is start with the SM and the rest of the two are the copy of this above two rules so first one is ORA and the second one is ASM or the seeded role which is provided by the Oracle. And this is the last two one is the copy of ORA as well as ASM job roles. So we have a first one and the second one both are the seeded role but, but we have some tiny difference between both ORA and the ASM. When we consider the ORA so in the ORA job roles, we cannot edit this role, but we, we can copy this role. You can see over here, this is the copy role of the ORA. But in the ASM, you can edit it and you can copy this. You can see over here, this is the copy role of the ASM. Both are the same. You can both, both are the same privilege, both are the same uh, permission. So we can select any one of them, but I'm going with the ORA. So click first one and click on this add roles membership. Same in the IT security. Select first one, select first one and click on add role membership. 
click on done so both roles are assignable and you can remove this role all the roles by clicking this button and you can also delete these roles one by one by clicking this delete button let's click on save and close now we have to perform one schedule process which is LDAP. so click on this navigator scroll down in the tools click on this schedule processes click on this schedule new processes let's find out LDAP and click enter so LDAP is the lightweight directory access protocol so this is the directory available in the Oracle Fusion application. The role of this LDAP in the Oracle Fusion is to take care of the Oracle Fusion user account and the roles information, the roles which we provide to this, this account and all the user related stuff and user related information handle in this LDAP's directory separately. So when we create the user account and assign role to this existing user, all the things happen in the LDAP directory. All the things are happen in the same application, but goes in the different directories. So once we create a new user and attach new role to the existing user, we also need to send this information continuously from the LDAP directory to the Oracle Fusion application so that all the things should be synchronized all the user all the roles which we provide all the roles are synchronized so we have to run this LDAP job after providing the roles to the user so select retrieve lattice LDAP changes click ok click ok so this is the detail of these processes and we have an option to schedule this process click on this advance we have two options first one is as soon as possible and second one using the schedule you can schedule this process you can schedule once monthly daily weekly monthly and the state the start date you can mention the start date and you can you can set up the schedule for this process but right now we are going with the as soon as possible option and click on submit the number is 5344 click on that ok button Five three double four. the status is running click on refresh button again and again in order to succeed this process still in the running condition status running status it will take up to 15 minutes 10 minutes to complete this process now the process gets succeeded let's uh, log in with the implementation user sign out this initial user confirm this is our username and this is our password sign in so you can see over here this is the setting in action and under this setting in action we have a option of setup and maintenance gets enabled and you can see over here click on this navigator so many options gets enabled and under the tools we have an option of security console C so how to create the implementation user and how to assign the roles to this user existing user we learn so far so now we will learn how to 
reset the password of the existing user let's see so let's sign out and sign in with the initial user click on this navigator scroll down go to tools click on that and go to the security console click on users and uh, let's find out the implementation and user by the username click on this display name and uh, over this page we have an option of reset password so click on that so we have an option of automatically generate password and other one is manually change the password so we'll go with the manually so this is the new password so i'm going to enter admin at the rate 456 see and again confirm password admin at the rate 456 click on this reset password click on done and let's sign out and sign out and we'll see the impact of this reset password option Let's enter the old password and see admin at the rate 123. This is our old password. Let's click on sign in. We'll see the authentication failed. Let's enter the new one admin at the rate 456. You can see. See, we successfully logged into the implementation user. So in this session, we learned how to create the implementation user, how to assign the role to this implementation user and how to reset the password. Hope you understand all the concept of implementation user. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.